YouTube, man, what the fuck is going on, guys, man? So look, guys, never be fucking afraid to make the approach, man. Make the fucking approach. Life is too short, bro. You want to stand me, man? Like, I tell you guys to work in the gym, man. I lost a co-worker the other day. You want to stand? This is a dude that I was just going to say. He was like, bro, hey, bro, like, bro, we should we should do boxing sometime, man, because he a martial, you know, he does martial arts. And um, dude was healthy, bro. 23 years old. He had a bright future, bro. Bro was like, he was doing his thing. I got the news he died. You understand? And um, it hit me, man, because tomorrow never promised, bro. Tomorrow really not promised, man. Like, you could be talking to somebody, next day they're gone. When you go to sleep at night, you understand, like, do you have any regret in your head, bro? Anything that you wanted to do that you didn't do? It's going to sting. That shit is going to sting, bro, when you wake up the next day. Like, fuck, I should have done it. Go approach that chick, bro. If she bad as... Yo, if you find her attractive, you nigga, go make the fucking approach. I was in the gym today, right? And uh, I was hitting legs, bro. I swear, but whenever I'm hitting legs, dog, yo, testosterone is up, man. It's through the roof. Nigga, you be trying to smash. You be trying to smash. My niggas, man, you do, you, you train legs, bro. You know what I'm talking about. If y'all niggas not training legs, bro, y'all niggas is, is, is bullshitting. All right, you leaving a lot of fucking gains on the table, bro. You understand? Like, y'all need to be, y'all need to be training legs, bro. That's going to help with your libido. That's going to help with erectile dysfunction because you're getting blood flow down there. You understand? So, anyways, man, this shorty was in the gym. Thick shorty, man. Big titties, big ass. You understand? And uh, bad. She was nice, but she looked good. And uh, she was choosing, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? She was, she kept eyeing me, man, when I was doing the calf raises, man. So I was like, all right, bet. I'm going to make the approach. You understand? Like, I'm not going around approaching every chick. But I do it low key. I'm not making a scene. I'm just going up to her and talking to her. That's it. You understand? Like, y'all niggas be making a situation weird. And even if you do get rejected, you can make it not weird. Oh, okay. No problem. Have a nice day. That's it. Anyways, man, went up to her, right? I was like, how you doing? I said, my name's Adele. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Blah, blah, told me her name. And um, that's it, bro. Like, I introduced her. We talked for a little bit. Like, I said, yo, take my number down. You know what I'm saying? And um, and my line, let's, let's link up sometime. She's like, yeah, I'm with it. I'm not waiting until tomorrow. I'm not waiting until, I'm not waiting three days to talk to the bitch, man. I'm not, I'm, nigga, if, you got to act on it, bro. This body game, help me with that shit. Tomorrow, I promise, nigga. I'm going to go talk to that chick. What you got to lose, bro? Like, nigga, like, even if I got rejected by that bitch, man. But I know I didn't because, nigga, that's my type of bitch. You understand? She was, she was sending me choosing signals, my nigga. So she was like, yo, come talk to me. So anyways, man, um. Y'all boys got to just, y'all got to say, fuck it. What's the worst going to happen? You're not going to lose money. Nigga, you're not going to lose your crib. You're not going to lose your car. You understand? Like, you everything that you had going into the interaction, nigga, you still going to have at the end of the day. You're not getting rid of it. Bro, I acted on what I wanted to do, bro. I found a bitch attractive, man. She looked good, nigga. I'm trying to fuck, nigga. I went up to her and introduced myself. I was like, yo, what's good? Take my number down, boom, and she texted me. What are y'all boys scared of, man? If it wasn't for this body game, bro, I'm telling you, bro, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even have that confidence, bro, to make the approach. You understand, like, make the approach, bro, like, Start that business, bro. Start that YouTube channel. Whatever it is you want to do. Tomorrow, I promised. And I'm going to tell y'all boys something, man. When you when you approach women, you get this adrenaline rush, man. You ever notice, man, when you approach a chick, you want to go approach, nigga, 20 more chicks. You want to go approach 30 more chicks. Nigga, because you get that adrenaline rush, man. You get, like, that confidence boost. Even, even if you get rejected, you want to stay, like, you know what to do next time and what not to do. You understand? Like, bro, for me, my interaction didn't go perfect with that chick. You understand? Like, 
Yeah, like, yeah, I fucked up a little bit, but I still recovered, man. You understand? Like, I'm not going to say, nigga, I'm perfect. Every interaction, I'm going in, bro. I'm getting the number. I'm I'm saying everything right. Nah, nigga. I learned from my mistakes. Okay, let me say this next time. Let me not say this next time. Oh, chicks respond better when I say it this way. You understand? Like, bro, I'm not perfect. I tell you guys, man, like, if you're not using my information, information ain't nothing if you don't put it to use, man. Information ain't nothing if you don't put it to use. You can watch everybody's videos, man. I tell you guys that shit already. You've got to make the approach. These women want to be approached, bro. I'm telling you, my nigga, like, these... You got to know some... These... These bitches on your time. They on your time. You see shit that you could really like. You you have the power, bro. You have the power to say, okay, I see that chick down the street. I could really fuck her tonight if I want to. I just got to approach her, take her out if she want to go out, or invite her straight to the crib. You lead the interaction, but you dictate what happens. You understand? I love this shit, bro. Like, and even if I got rejected, nigga, that's practice for me. We do a lot of this, man. We're on our phones a lot. And that kind of hinders our, our social awareness, man, our social skills, man. Technology is great and everything, right? It's a it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a, it's a useful resource, you understand? But you need that you need that foundation, man. You need social skills, man. Get off your fucking phone and go take a loss. Take a loss, nigga. Fuck it. You're gonna learn something. I guarantee it. Like, I was a dude, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I used to watch a lot of real Red Pill content when I was starting, right? A couple years ago. And I was just soaking up all this content. And I had all this information. But it was just built up. I, I wasn't... I wasn't actually in the field practicing it. How the fuck am I gonna get better? I hear all these stories, man, about these Red Pill concerts, uh, uh, creators and shit. They got these crazy ass stories. I'm like, damn, how do these niggas get in that position? The niggas just took a step forward, my nigga. They just, they just made the approach. All right, you wonder why you're not going on dates? You're not smashing? It's because you're too much in your head. You know, there's this book called Relentless, man, by uh, Tim Grover. Why right? is a trainer that he actually trained Kobe? Uh, he trained D-Wade and MJ, right? And he said four words, man, but really changed my life. Don't think, just do. Don't think, just do, right? And in the book, pretty much D-Wade, man, he was in the playoffs, right? And um, he had texted him, his trainer, Tim Grover, right? I guess something was going on, man. He wasn't, he wasn't in his groove, man, when he was hooping. Like something was off about his game. He had hit up his trainer. He said, yo, Tim, like, I got to come see you, bro. He literally took a flight, right, away from the team. Did not let the team know where he was going. Flew to Tim Grover, the trainer, right, just for Tim Grover to tell him four words. Don't think, just do. And in the book, he talks about that's all he told D-Wade. He ain't give him no special... Enhancement, nothing, no magic pill or nothing. D Way flew all the way to Tim Grover just so he could tell him that. Don't think, just do. And that's my that's my fucking advice to y'all, man. Stop thinking, my nigga. Just do it. You understand? Look, man. It's a quick video for you guys, man. Like the video, man. Subscribe to the channel. Comment down below what y'all boys want to see next, man. Also, man, if you guys want one-on-one -on -one training, man. Free consultation, man. If you happen to give a fuck, click the link in my description, all right? So the next one, I'm out of here, man.